Cialis and Viagra, they're very commonly prescribed to help men with erectile dysfunction after prostate removal surgery. However, they're very unlikely to work within the first months, even up to 12 months, even up to two years post-surgery. It's not your fault if this happens. I know it's easy to get disappointed and you take a tablet and expect something and it doesn't happen. However, there are three reasons why this might be the case, and we'll talk through three things you can do in each circumstance. So firstly, and the main reason that men find the tablets don't work after prostatectomy is simply that the cavernous nerves surrounding the prostate are in an offline state. They're in a state of trauma after even just the light and heat from surgery. Even if you have nerve sparing surgery, these nerves are likely to be traumatized for a period of time, which can be up to two years. During this time, even when you're very, very aroused, the nerves will not be producing the nitric oxide, which is an essential chemical messenger in the bloodstream that Viagra and Cialis need to combine with in order to make an erection happen. It's a very simplistic version of the whole very complex equation, but the essential is if your nerves are not online surrounding the prostate, then Viagra and Cialis will not work. So that's something to keep in mind. And if you're in that situation, simply try another means of creating an erection to bring that blood flow into the penis. So you might want to try uh, injection therapy. I have a video right here that's a demonstration video um, of a pharmacist who specializes in ED talking you through how that works. Or you could think about trying a vacuum erection device that has a constriction ring system, much like the Vacurect. Again, I have a whole playlist of videos, including demo videos on how this one works. So second reason that Cialis or Viagra may not be doing it for you is the factor of arousal. So every erection starts here. It starts in the mind. It starts from you know, receiving those receptors in the environment saying, we're not stressed, we're feeling really good, and we wanna get down to it. It begins here and the message goes down the spinal cord in order to reach um, those nerves around the prostate, which creates that chemical messenger. So it's another thing to think through. Have you set through a really good state, a really good environment? Are you feeling aroused? Taking the tablets away from heavy meals is also recommended. You know, make sure that you've created as much, as, as good a setting as you can for Viagra or Cialis to work within. And the third reason may be that the type of tablet you're taking, so say you're taking Viagra and you're experiencing some headaches, I've had some clients even experience some stomach issues as a side effect, this just might not be the right PDE5 inhibitor, which is the umbrella term for these particular erection ED pills for you. You might instead wanna try something like Cialis. So I've had some clients say there's side effects from one, but not the other, and this can then produce a better physical result for them. So those are the three things to think through. Are the nerves surrounding the prostate online? Secondly, are you feeling aroused? Are you in a really good state in order to take these pills in? And then thirdly, you might want to consider talking to your urologist or your GP, whoever's prescribed you the medication. And it's very important that you only get this from a prescription. Do not buy anything over the internet. You've got no idea, honestly, what they're sending you. So you want to talk to them. Is this the best option for me? If you're having side effects, ask, could I try um, a different sort of pill? Maybe Cialis if you've tried Viagra and that hasn't worked for you. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, as always, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you want more information about erections and sexuality post prostatectomy, and I'll see you in another video soon.